Hello, friends, and welcome to The Architecture Enthusiast. Imagine walking through the 1925 International Exposition of Modern Industrial and Decorative Arts in Paris, and suddenly you stumble upon something truly revolutionary. The Pavillon de l'Esprit Nouveau. Designed by the Swiss mastermind Le Corbusier and Pierre Jeanneret, this pavilion was not just a building, but a bold statement of what modern living could be. Le Corbusier and Jeanneret weren't interested in creating just another pretty structure. They had a vision. They wanted to showcase the future of urban living, and the Pavillon de l'Esprit Nouveau was their canvas. The exterior strikes you first. It's a stark, rectangular form with large horizontal windows that seem to invite the outside world in. There are no frills, no unnecessary decorations, just clean, industrial materials that speak to functionality and modernity. Step inside, and the magic continues. The interior is all about space and adaptability. Imagine living in a place where your furniture isn't just static. It's modular. You can move it around, reconfigure it as your needs change. Le Corbusier and Jean Array designed the furniture themselves, ensuring it fit perfectly within their vision. Neutral tones dominate the walls, creating a calm backdrop that allows the vibrant artwork and carefully chosen furnishings to pop. One of the most innovative aspects of the pavilion is its use of built-in storage. Forget about clutter. Everything has its place seamlessly integrated into the design. It's a practical solution that makes the space feel larger and more efficient. And speaking of space, don't miss the rooftop garden. Yes, in the middle of an urban setting, there's a private oasis of green, reflecting Le Corbusier's belief that nature should be an integral part of city living. Le Corbusier himself described the Pavillon de l'Esprit Nouveau as a laboratory of the future, it was a place to experiment, to push the boundaries of what living spaces could be. This wasn't just about architecture, it was about improving life through thoughtful design. This pavilion was a game changer. It influenced countless architects and designers, pushing them to think differently about space, light, and functionality. It wasn't just about creating beautiful buildings, it was about creating environments that adapt to and enhance the way we live. Even today, the Pavillon de l'Esprit Nouveau stands as a testament to the visionary ideas of Le Corbusier and Pierre Jeanneret. It's a reminder that great design can be both practical and beautiful, a blend of innovation and timeless elegance.